Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we're talking about the iPhone iTunes and more specifically, we're gonna show how to change the payment method on your iTunes using your iPhone. So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off, what's your payment method set up on your iTunes for? Well, that's pretty easy to answer. Basically, if you buy apps on your iPhone, that purchase is made through iTunes. So like if you buy things through games on the App Store, or if you have monthly memberships for apps on the App Store, things like that. But how do you change your payment method on iTunes? That's pretty easy. This is gonna be a really quick video. There's only a few steps involved. So first off, what you wanna do if you wanna change your payment method on iTunes is go to your settings app. It's this gray one, it looks like a gear icon. This is nothing that you need to download. It's already pre-installed on your iPhone. I'm gonna click there now. All right, once you click there, what you you want to do is look through this drop down menu you can change a lot of different settings on your iphone and personalize it but you want to click and choose this one right here called itunes app store it's this blue and white icon it looks like an a i'm going to click there now all right once you click there then this screen pops up and you'll see your apple id right across the top in blue it's you probably going to be your email address like mine it might be something different but i'm not too sure i've only ever seen them as email addresses if yours is different than an email address be sure to leave a comment below let the rest of us know but i guess it doesn't really matter you still need to click on that blue line after apple id i'm going to click there now All right next this pop-up happens where you have four different options but you want to choose the top option called view apple id i'm going to click there now All right next your iphone is going to ask you to verify your identity with your touch id possibly your passcode or maybe your face id if you have that registered i have my touch id registered so i'm going to go ahead and use my thumbprint now All right next this account setting screen pops up and you're going to see your apple id right here but if you want to go ahead and change your payment method on iTunes, you want to go ahead and click right here on Manage Payment. I'm going to click there now. All right next, the screen pops up and it's called Payment Manage Payments. And you'll see all the different payment methods that you have associated with your iTunes. But if you want to change the payment method that you have set up, you can either click into the payment method and then delete the payment, or you can add a payment with this button. One thing I want to let you know, if you have multiple payment methods set up with your iTunes on your iPhone, they are going to bill according to the layer that they're set up on. So if you have three payment methods, the top one would bill first. If there's no money on that one, then your iTunes is going to bill the next card. If there's no money on that one, it'll bill the one right below it. So it kind of works in order. So let's go ahead and add a payment method. I'm going to go ahead and click right here on this line. All right. So here on the screen, you can go ahead and choose a card that you have set up in your Apple Pay wallet if you'd like. But if you're going to add a new card like me, you want to click right here on add credit or debit card here on this line. I'm going to click there now. All right. Next, iTunes on my iPhone is asking for the full credit card number along expiration date and security code. So I'm going to go ahead and enter that information in off screen now. All right, so I went ahead and entered in the new credit card information I want to add into my Apple iTunes. Next, I'm going to click the blue button up here called done. I'm going to click there now. All right, next the screen pops up and now you can see I have two payment methods associated with my Apple iTunes on my iPhone. Next, if you would like to go ahead and edit the way that these cards are billed in chronological order, that's pretty easy. Click this edit button here on the top right. I'm going to click there now. Now, as you can see the screen does change so you can kind of scroll these cards around and then choose which one you want to be the primary card to be billed. So for me I like my MasterCard to be the primary so I'm going to drag that one to the top as you can see. Now what's going to happen is this card would bill for any kind of subscriptions I have on my iTunes on my iPhone. If there's no money on that card then it would bill my Visa secondary right here. Once you've chosen the default payment method or set it up the way you would like it's going to be the same if you have three or four or five cards just kind of drag those around in the order you would like. Once you're finished go ahead and click this done button. Button. I'm going to click there now. All right, the screen pops up again, and now you can see my MasterCard is listed on the top. That's the primary. And lastly, if you would like to delete a payment method, that's pretty easy. Just click into the payment you want to delete. I'm going to click on this first line. Once you're here in the screen, then if you'd like to remove a payment method, go ahead and just click remove. Just verify that you are removing the correct card by looking at the card type along with the last four digits of the card number. I'm not going to delete this card because I like to have it available in my Apple iTunes. So that's how you can change a payment method on your iTunes on your iPhone. If you happen to know an easier way to do this, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. But as far as I can see, this is the easiest way to change the payment method on your iTunes. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing. And I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.